Well, hello, welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Scorpio love prediction reading for September 19th through September 25th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know that this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep in mind that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if my reading resonates or if you enjoy my reading. Please give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my intense, passionate, kind, sweet, loving Scorpio. Show me spirit guides. What's going on my Scorpio spirit, guys? What's going on my loving, fun, intense, passionate Scorpios? Let's see, Scorpios, what you got going on. Let's see. Four of Wands. Hanged Man. Two of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Well, Scorpio, you're trying to fight this love, aren't you? When I say fight it, not fight it in a negative sense. You're just, I'm not even going to say fight it. You know exactly who you want to be with. This is the Four of Wands that's leading your reading. The Four of Wands can also can be a, mean a soulmate, but it also means a celebration, an engagement. You want to marry someone, but here's the deal. You're like trying to deny that, and I'm going to tell you why here in just a minute. You want to marry this someone. There's someone in your love space, whoever I'm reading for, you are in love with them. They are in love with you. And you want to marry them. And you know how I know? It's, it's very, very deep for you, too, because it's a very big realization for you. It almost like hits you like a ton of bricks. Four of Wands is leading your reading, so this is definitely someone you want to marry or propose to. Someone that is your soulmate, someone that is your, 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 your girl, or someone that is your guy, whomever. If I'm reading for a girl or a man, it does not matter. Um, a woman or a man, it does not matter. This is someone that you have, you know, you are very aware with that hangman there. You are very, very aware that you want to be with this person. You want to marry them. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And it's almost overwhelming to you because it almost like hit you like a ton of bricks. And I'll say that again, Scorpio, this hit you, this snuck up on you. Yeah, you were dating, you were having fun. And you know, you're not one to just have just one person wink wink you know how you do with scorps but what i'm saying is this one particular person you have realized that you are aware of there is a very much in a, a realization and awareness that you want to be with this person but here's what's interesting to me about this read the two of pentacles is in the middle of the read and the two of pentacles is a juggling of emotions because this came up on you so quickly it, it it took you by surprise and you are juggling emotions because you're trying to make sure that it's just not you being um, frivolous with your energy. And when I say frivolous, just um, trying to say, well, at this point in time, I feel like this, but maybe I won't feel like this later on. This is a juggling of emotions here. There's a lot of emotions. This is intense for you because you want somebody to be your lifetime partner. And this is intense because you are very, very, this is an intense awareness with this hangman here. You are very aware. This two of pentacles means that you just want to make sure. You just want to make sure that this is your person. And you know what? This is your person. And let me tell you why it is your person. First and foremost, uh, we know you have the four of wands at the beginning of the reading, which I do believe they're your soulmate. Um, but also you have that Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy, but the Knight of Pentacles, um, gets to their goal. The Knight of Pentacles knows what they want. They might take a little time getting there, but they get their goal. They put one foot in front of the other and they make sure that they get what they want. And look what that Knight of Pentacles is looking at. It's a Queen of Pentacles. And if that is an earth sign, you guys get along great. Queen of Pentacles is one of those women that I say can be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, but it's one of those women that, that is very well respected in the community. 
is intelligent. A lot of people know know the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles may even be a, a boss, may run their own company, can help you with your company if you have a company. Knows how to be um, very much a lady, but yet very much um, take care of the family at home um, on all levels, if you know what I mean, wink, wink. You have got, you have figured out this is your soulmate out of all of the others. This is the one that you want to be with. And that's what's, it's a little bit scary for you. It, it threw you off a little bit because it hit you. It hit you that this is your soulmate. It hit you like a ton of bricks. So if this is your read, please give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading for you. I just want to see what else the spirit guides want to tell you. Just take the time. Just give me three to five minutes. If I were you, I would want to know what else does the spirit guides want to tell you about this queen of pentacles energy that is around you. That is your soulmate. Let's see. Show me spirit guides. Just give me three to five minutes. Just relax. Sit back. Relax. Four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? Show me spirit guides. Why is the Four of Wands here for my Scorpios? Why is the Four of Wands here for Scorpios? Oh, I see the Eight of Cups. I see the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups means walking away, and I'm going to tell you what I think. I definitely don't think you're walking away from your soulmate. Remember I told you you have a lot of different... You, when I, I shouldn't say a lot because that makes you sound... Uh, you know, a little bit unresponsible uh, or, or not being responsible with your life when I say a lot. But you have other people that were in your love frame. You're walking away from them to be with your soulmate. You're walking away from them to be with your soulmate. That is exactly what I see. You are leaving all that other riffraff behind, that other mess, no matter what, because you have a great realization now that this is your soulmate, and this is who you want to marry. This is who you want to propose to. This is who you want to be in your life forever and ever. So let's see what the hangman is here. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the hangman here? Oh, look at that. Did I not say that? Two of cups. This is, you and this person get along great. You have a lot of love for this person. They have a lot of love for you. There's public displays of affection. You guys um, hold hands. You just love each other. You have the same morals, the same ideas, the same goals in life. It's unity when you guys come together. This is your soulmate. This is your person. This is who you want to be with. And now, with this hangman there, there is such a realization. I mean, you are very aware of who you want. This person, you want this person. You are very, very aware of that. There is nothing. Now, here's what's interesting. The two of pentacles is here because you're, you're nervous. I think you're just a little bit nervous about this because like I said at the beginning, it hit you before you knew it, it hit you. And you want to make sure that this is your person. You want to make sure you're just not stuck in your feelings and emotions. And this is your person. So let's see what the spirit guides say with this two of pentacles. Show me two, why the two of pentacles is here, spirit guides. Oh, 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 oh Scorp. Yes, 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 yes. There's that Hierophant. Can't be a Taurus person. Can't be anyone. But the Hierophant is marriage. Traditional. This is the... Yes, 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 Scorpio. Yes. Yes, you want to marry them. Yes. This is not... Um, This is the real deal. Solid. So let's see what the Knight of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit God. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Show me, Spirit Guides. Oh. I have the Nine of Pentacles. And that's a really big deal. To me, the Nine of Pentacles, which is this person is a very independent person. Someone that um, is not easily, and I think that's why the Knight of Pentacles is here. Because it's not, it's not going to be an easy thing for you to be. When I say easy, I don't take it into the fact. They love you. You love them. But. They're independent. They have their own life. That's why the Knight of Pentacles is here because you're determined. You want to make sure you're going to, they're going to want to be marry you as well. This is going to be a yes all the way around, but you almost have to be very, um, uh, uh, intentional about what you want to do with this person because they're used to being by themselves. They're used to taking care of themselves. That's one of the things you love about them, that they don't ask you for anything. They know how to take care of themselves. So you have to be very intentional and let them know that I want to marry you. I love you. You're my soulmate. And that's going to be very important. And you're going to also have to understand that when you marry them, they are a very independent person, yet they know how to love. So let's see why this Queen of Pentacles here. Why is my Queen of Pentacles here? Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Oh, wow. I have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is going to be a very generous, 
a very kind, a very balanced relationship. It's going to be a very much a give and take relationship. Remember, I said this is an independent person. You got, you understand them. You understand them that you have to be, you have to, you have to be very, you have to let them be themselves as well. But they'll take care of you too, Scorpio, because they love you as well. But you have to, it has to be a very much a give and take. You have to compromise. And you get that. You get them. They get you and you get them. Because here's the very beginning, four wands. This is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. You want to very much marry this person. You are walking away from all of the other riffraff that you've had. And I shouldn't say riffraff. Just the people that have been in your life. You, they don't even matter anymore. You don't even think about them. And this has hit you with a ton of bricks. The realization with this hangman here that you definitely love this person. And you want to be married to them because they are your soulmate. And here's this two of cups. It's just the, the read is just telling you. This is your soulmate. You have unity with them. You guys think alike. You have love with them. Not that you don't get into disagreements. But your ground, your basis, your morals. You are equally yoked. You are alike. And... Here you are with the two of pentacles where you're juggling. You're not quite sure. You want to make sure. I mean, I just, it hit you so um, so quickly. And when I say quickly, you had been with them. I'm not saying that, but it just all of a sudden you were very aware with this hangman here. But yes, this is the real deal. Who's that hierophant there? Can't be a Taurus person. Can't be anyone. This is a general read. But there that hierophant is there, which means this is a marriage. You are going to be married to this person. Yes, Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles, you have to be very intentional with them. They are used to doing their own thing with that Nine of Pentacles, having their own thoughts, their own mindset, their own money. That is one of the things that you loved about them because they were not clingy and hanging on to you. Then you have the Queen of Pentacles. And that Queen of Pentacles is a very, very respected person in the community. She could have her own business. She knows how to take care of family, kids. She knows how to also um, take care of you as well. Do you understand what I'm saying? She knows. She is. Every, she's like the consummate girl next door too. Because a lot of people want to be with her because she has her head on right. And she's also... Um, a very um, she ta she is she takes care of business. She takes care of business, but she takes care of business even in the streets. She's a lady in the streets, but she knows how to be you know come home and take care of business as well. Then you have the six of pentacles, and like I said, you get her, you get her. That's what she's saying. Uh, he gets me because the six of pentacles is there. You know this is a give and take relationship. You know that you have to compromise with her because she is used to having her own and being on her own. You have to be very intentional with her as well. But she loves you too and you love her. Let's see what my African queens have to say to you. What do my African queens have to say? Oh, wow. My African queen, her uh, queen Tanit, queen Tanit says pleasure. And this person brings you so much pleasure, so much joy. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Scorpio.